Hi everyone, I'm Greg Corson and this is the start of a new series of tutorials I'm doing on how to do layered recordings for virtual production. What's different about layered recording is that after you record the first character, while you're recording the second character, the first one is playing back, so you have something to react to. This can make it a lot easier to get dialogue to flow more naturally because you're actually talking back to yourself as it were. Also, if you have a complicated scene set up with uh, things like control panels lighting up or objects moving around, this can give you uh, the ability to react to those in real time while you're doing your mocap performance, so you don't just have to guess at it. For example, you could be watching a sequence play out on the screen in front of you, and when a big red light lights up on a control panel, you can yell, oh my god, we're going to die. Here's an example of a scene that I filmed this way. It's very simple at the moment, but it's just for demonstration. The character India and the character Bob were both played by me. I recorded India first, and then I uh, played Bob, reacting to what India said. Everything was recorded inside of Unreal using Take Recorder to record both the animation of the face and the audio. Hi, I'm India Allen, and today on the Many Human Show, we'll be talking to Bob over here. Say hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. Okay, very funny. I don't know why he thinks that joke is so funny. Maybe because he's new as a metahuman and his sense of humor hasn't been tuned up yet? My sense of humor is fine. Okay, Bob, whatever you say. But I think that's enough for a layered demo recording right now. Now that's a fairly simple example, but using this kind of technique you could easily perform several characters up to even dozens of them. You could be the two main characters and then go back and perform a lot of the characters in the background, like extras. And you only need you to do it. You could even record your parts wearing a VR headset, so you'd actually be in the scene and able to react to everything as if you were actually there. Now for Unreal 4.26, there are a few bugs in this process and some inconvenient workflow. A few of these things are expected to be fixed in Unreal 4.27, but since that's not out yet, I'm going to show you the basic procedure using 4.26. The changes aren't expected to be major, so if there are any changes, I'll do an addendum and cover what's changed. I'm going to do this tutorial in several parts. The first one will show how to do recordings of face motion capture using Live Link Face, and then using uh, my Perception Neuron mocap suit to do full body motion capture as well as demonstrating how to do both at the same time. Just so you don't miss any of the parts, you might want to subscribe to the channel and hit the notify button so that you'll get notified as each new part of the tutorial comes up. That's all for now.